Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for pierniczki. Those are little ginger spice honey cookies and they are delicious. They are my kids favorite. We're going to stuff them with a little bit of a plum butter and then cover them with some icing. Those are really, really, really worth a try and I hope you guys are going to give it a go. And in case you decide to do that, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. I'm starting with transferring all my honey into a pot and putting it on the heat. I'm putting it on a medium high. Then I'm adding my pumpkin spice, my molasses and my vanilla. And I'm going to be stirring it until it's all nice uh, melted together. And then we're going to uh, cook it for a little bit, turn off the heat and uh, add the, uh, the butter to melt. Okay, I'll just leave it right now for a few minutes, the heat is off and then I come back with my whisk and then I'm just going to whisk it and let it stand until it cools down. In the meantime, in the mixing bowl I have my flour, I add my cocoa powder, my baking powder and a pinch of salt and I'm going to whisk it together so all is well incorporated. Then it's time for the eggs. We're going to separate the eggs. We will need three egg whites and all eight uh, egg yolks. Now, so I'm having three egg whites, I'm putting them aside and then the rest of the egg whites I'm putting separately. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to probably make pavlova for New Year's Eve. You can freeze the egg whites, by the way. And then I'm taking my three egg whites, putting it in my stand mixer and mixing it until soft peaks. Then when they turn um, soft peaks, I start adding my icing sugar spoon at the time. And then when my icing sugar is uh, all well incorporated, I start adding my egg yolks one at the time. And then after I'm done with all the egg yolks, I'm beating it for another 30 seconds after the last one. Next, I'm uh, transferring my uh, flour mixture into a large mixing bowl. And then adding my honey mixture to it and working it until all is well incorporated. This is a hard job. I'm using here a wooden spoon and then I'm going to switch to my hands because it seems to be a little bit easier with a, when you use your hands. Now I'm adding my um, egg yolk mixture. Okay. And here still with the spoon and here we go. Now I'm with my hands. Now if you would have a half of this recipe, probably you could do it in your handstand mixer. But with one kilo of flour, I didn't think it would go. Now at the end I'm adding my uh, sour cream and working it all until it's nice, incorporated and it looks like that. Then we're transferring it on the plastic wrap, flattening it up nicely because it's going to make it easier for us to roll it out the next day. We're covering it tightly, we don't want any air to get in and that goes into the fridge at least for one night. But it can stay for a uh, two three days no problem in the fridge before you actually roll it out and uh, bake the cookies. Now I'm taking a small part at the time and I'm going to be putting it in between two sheets of parchment paper and then with my rolling pin I'm going, going to roll it out uh, until it's between two three millimeters thick. Now we want to work kind of fast because it's uh, when it's getting warmer it gets very sticky. And then I'm cutting my sta stars out. I'm going to take the remaining dough and uh, squeeze it together and then put it in a Ziploc bag and put it into a fridge because it's perfectly okay still to uh, use it. And then on every other I'm putting my plum butter. And then with the second star, 
I'm covering my plum butter and then very important you want to seal the edges very well and then shape your stars nice and that goes into the oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for around 10 to 12 minutes and then we're letting them cool completely before we're decorating them with the icing and I think we have a half a cup of uh, icing sugar I add uh, my uh, lemon juice mix it then add hot water one teaspoon and mixing it again until it's nice spreading consistency and then using my uh, pastry brush I'm just painting my stars here we go yum and then sprinkling them with my little white sprinkles and that's about it guys I hope you enjoy the recipe let me know what you think and I will see you next time bye